Hello everyone, I am Khanam and this is my 38th video in React series. In our previous video, we have seen about if else statements. Okay, we have seen how to do this one. If my condition becomes true, I want to display this card or else I want to display this card. This card data I have already created API in our previous tutorials and we have seen how to access this one. Okay, using array index 2, I am accessing the elements from here and using array index 1, I am accessing the elements of array index 1. Okay, we have already seen about if else statement. If the condition becomes true, I'll come inside the if statement and that will be printed. If the condition becomes false, I'll come outside the if statement and else will be printed. So many lines of code we are not supposed to write in React. It becomes lengthy and also it is not readable. So when it comes to React, it's all about components. Now we are going to create separate component for this and we will see how to use ternary operator in this one. Here inside src, I am just going to create one file. I will give my file name as react. Uh, I will just give here fab.js. Okay, react favorite. And next I am just going to create one more file. I will just give here uh, inside src. I will just give here javascript. javascript.js. Now inside react, I will just copy this. I will just copy this imports and here I am just going to paste that one because I am going to use data, I am going to use props and also I am going to use jxs element. Now here I will just create one function const and here I will just give my function name as react.js. This function is going to return something and inside this syntactic sugar form, this entire component, I will just copy this component from here. And here I am going to paste that one. Okay, I am just returning that one. I will just remove this syntactic sugar from here. I will be closing the syntactic sugar form. And here I have this output. Okay, this is my prop. I will just come down. Okay, this is my prop. Okay, I am just going to return this inside this react.js. Now I have to use this file inside my uh, app.js. So I have to export this one. Okay, export and import we have already seen. I just I'll just do export default and this function name whatever I'm having here I'll just paste that function name here okay inside react I am just pasting this one now I'll just copy this entire same thing and inside JavaScript I'm just going to paste that one and in I'll just check in which index I'm having JavaScript I'm having JavaScript inside index number three so here instead of two I'm just going to give three here I'll just change it to 3. All my 2, I just want to change it to 3. Replace all. Okay, now it, the index number is being changed now. And I have to export here. I'll just change the function name. I'll be giving here JavaScript. JavaScript. Uh, okay, let it be JavaScript. I'll copy this. And here I'm going to paste that one. Okay, now I have created two separate components for my React and for JavaScript. Now I have to use these components inside app.js. So I have to import that one. I'll import first I'll be importing react from I'll just give the file name I'll give my file name as react fav okay whatever file name I have given here on my left side that I have to give okay in the same way I'll just give I'll just want to import JavaScript I'll be writing here JavaScript and also here I'm just going to write my file name JavaScript I'll save this now once I have imported this components and I I have already created this components I have exported this one now once I have exported and here I have imported that one now here this is returning me this entire thing okay this component okay, this component is returning me this one so instead of writing this I'll just remove this I'll be writing this react.js okay whatever I'm having here whatever I have imported I'll just copy this one and here instead of this I'm just going to paste that one okay this component I'm using here I'll just copy this JavaScript and instead of this prop, I'm going to paste JavaScript here. I'll save this and now you can see I'm still getting the output. Okay, here I'm just going to change the index number. Okay, from here now I can remove this data and props because I'm not using this inside this project. So I can remove from here. I'm using that props component and data in this file. So I'm getting the output here. Okay, react.js2 I'm getting 0. This is 0, 1 and 2. React.js I am getting 0, 1, 2 and 3. JavaScript. I have given data 3. JavaScript. Okay, I got. Okay, I got JavaScript here. 
okay this is how we are going to check the data you can see here because my condition is getting failed here i have given javascript and here i have this condition now if i again change it to react i'll just give here react js i'll save this now you can see i'll be getting the output for react okay this is how we are going to create separate component okay inside this return we are just going to pass this components here and we have to import this one okay now inside this react component we are going to use this component props and also our array so we have to import this inside our projects okay inside this components not in this component not in app.js okay, now once we have done this one now here this is all about components okay this is all about components how to uh, reduce the code now i'll be explaining you about ternary operators i'm just going to remove this okay this comments i'm just going to remove now you can see here we have reduced so many lines of code into only so much lines but instead of writing this if else we have one more operator that is ternary operator as of now i am just going to comment this function now if i show you i will not be having anything now i'll be using ternary operator here i'll just show you the syntax of ternary operator now we are going to write the syntax of ternary operator first i am just going to check the condition here this one if my subject is if my subject if it is equal to react okay i have to check like this if it is equal to equal to react then here i'll be giving this question mark okay after question mark whatever i give that will be true here i'll just pass my react js component else you have to give colon here and inside this i am going to pass this javascript component i'll save this now instead of writing so many lines of code in only one line you can write and you will be getting the output now if i show you the data react js okay i'll just change the spelling react js i'll save this now you can see still i am getting the output okay, this is how we are going to reduce our codes inside react okay now if i remove this entire thing if i just comment this entire thing okay better i'll just remove this and i'll show you and also i'm just going to remove this this function i'll be removing i'll just close this now you can see here we have reduced so many lines of code we have reduced only in one line of code okay using ternary operator i'm getting the same output if i just give here javascript i'll save this now if subject is not defined okay i have removed the subject from here here i'll just give here const i'll just create one variable const i'll give my variable name as subject subject i'll be giving here react js i'll save this and now if i show you the output you can see i'm getting the output as javascript okay even if i give here python then also i'll be getting the output as javascript i'll save this now if i show you the output you can see again i'm getting the output as javascript because once this condition become fails it will come to this part and whatever is inside this part only that will be executed okay this false part will be executed whenever it is false and true part will be executed whenever it is true now it is false so this false part will be executed let it be javascript let it be web development whatever i have that will be executed in my else part that is false part now here if i just give here javascript or let me give here python now this condition is true okay this subject is equal to subject yes it is true so whatever i have inside true that will be printed now i have react js now you can see react js will be printed okay this is how we are going to use ternary operator and we are going to reduce our code instead of writing if else we can directly write ternary operator and we can check for the conditions okay that's all for today's tutorial in our next tutorial i'll be explaining you about react developer tool how to add react developer tool to chrome and we will see how to start using our developer tool okay that's all for today's tutorial thank you so much for listening have a great day